I'm Katie Allman reporting for Katie Chats at Smithy TV in downtown Toronto. Katie Allman reporting for Katie Chats in downtown Toronto with actors Michael and Lauren from Long Story Short. How did each of you get involved in the project? Well, I think Katie just called on some of her friends and that was that was uh, how I got brought on. Katie and I have known each other since we were like 10 years old. I know Mike has as well. Yeah. So she just asked if I was interested and you know, she's got a great track record for being involved in really great things, so it made sense. Cool. Same. Yeah, she said, "Hey, I'm going to get funding for the series hopefully." Uh, can I put you on it? I was like, yeah, cool. And then she was like, cool, we're going to start. And I was like, I don't know what the show is. Can you send <laughs> some scripts? Uh, and then she sent them. And I was like, oh, man, this is like, I thought it was such good writing. And so then we started making a TV show for a couple of weeks, which was a pretty insane schedule, but it was so much fun. Yeah. What really drew you to each of your characters? Well, same with Mike. You know, she sort of asked if I wanted to get involved. And then I saw... Um, what I was going to be doing, and I feel like, I feel like the writing kind of reflected each of us a bit as Ouch. well. Like, don't you thought maybe a little bit? Maybe a little bit, but I don't know. Dave's kind of all right. Sure, sure. <laughs> Dave's a bit of a ladies' man, but yeah, Dave's a bit of a jerk as yeah, well. Okay, you're not a jerk. Well, I, I hope I'm not as meek as Lucy is. No, not I quite, mean, but amplified. Like there are elements of ourselves, yes. and then amplifications of just just characters that we're playing. Yeah. Yeah, um, I think I think what's fun about it is like that it feels totally real and it feels like a million summers that I've had. I've had a million summers in my lifetime. <laughs> it feels it like feels it sometimes, like it. Yeah. right? I feel like this summer now that it's, this, it's this my million. beginning of September, back to school, and I was so upset about summer ending, and now I'm like, oh, thank God, summer's over. Like my throat can relax. My liver finally. <laughs> um, and yeah, so it, it felt really real, and then it was a fun opportunity to, like, I played kind of jerks, but not dirtbags in this way. Who I like Dave is, like, such a dirtbag. He's, he's a dirtbag to Lucy. Yeah, he's a dirt, well, uh, yeah, but I think he's just not really caring about, like, other people's feelings other than his own. But isn't um, that so classic of our generation? Yeah, that's what yeah. was fun about playing it. It all felt like real people that are existing in a great little world and exciting stories. What's the atmosphere like on set working with Gail Harvey? <laughs> it was so much fun. We love Gail. She was our she was our mother. Is it weird that you're like there. standing on Am the I? curtain? Oh, like, yeah. See Gail, Gail would have been like, Lauren, get off the curtain. She yeah. she she had our back the whole time. Yeah, um, I think you as well. Like we both worked with Gail since we were kids. Um, but it was so much fun in this environment where you don't have like a network and yeah. so it's not okay we're gonna do like a master on a dolly and then a medium and then close-ups like we got to have opinions and talk about the scenes yeah. and she was as much as she was the director she also wanted us all to bring our experience understanding we all have a lot of experience but that we also understand what people want to watch today because we are young and so there was a lot of um, collaboration which was really nice. The best for me was watching Katie and Gail work together. Just, I mean, I can't imagine working with my mom in that close an environment, but you know, Katie's doing like sex scenes and Gail's like, I, I think I'm just going to step out for a second. Um, <laughs> they, they had such a, a good dynamic together and they worked so well. And it was great when Katie would be like, Mom, we're losing time. We're losing time. Like, oh, go time. into full producer mode. I loved arguing with Gail. That was really fun. <laughs> yeah. Well, because she was always like, you know, it's on set. It's all about, like, time. And you've got to get the out of that location to get to the next one. And sometimes we'd be so rushed for time that we would end, like, two hours before we needed yeah, to leave the location. <laughs> so then there would be times where, like, Gail, no, I'm standing over here. And she's like, no, we're putting everyone over here. We're not turning around too much. I'm like... We'll be out too early. I'm standing over here. And then it was like a son and a mother bickering over going to soccer practice or something. <laughs> and where's the best place to find out more information on each of you and your exciting projects and on Long Story Short online? Yeah, right? I mean, Coldcast TV is where... That's where to find the show. And, if, I mean, God, Instagram. Twitter, Instagram, it's all... I, I live on social media these days. Yeah, I mean, everybody just sort of gets to manage their own brand now, which is kind of fun. 
I mean, but yeah, it looks like a dirt bag. How you describe your brand, Okay, Michael so we Peter. just did this yesterday in the car. <laughs> I know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> see, she knows everything that I do, even when I don't tell her. Yesterday, I was going through on this uh, film that I'm shooting, me, the DP, and the producers, we went through, and I went through and judged everyone's Instagram of like, what are you putting forth? Like everyone in the car? Yeah. Okay. So it, my... This is all based on... On me, my Insta game. That's true, Insta game. Oh, I coined fuck. a new term called Insta game. It's bringing it out right yeah. here. Yeah. Uh, what is it? Define it, please. Insta game. Insta game. Oh, I had it so perfectly on Twitter. It was the image, the image you want to. Oh God, how did I phrase it? Okay, you gotta find it so you can say it like to camera yeah. really well. Yeah. You continue. Okay, you think about that. Yeah. Uh, no, just going over like what everyone's personal brand is. Like one was hashtag for the ladies because it was a girl who was always with like good looking guys and had great food and cuddly pictures with her boyfriends. So that's like for the ladies to make them all jealous of like, look how great my life is. Mine is like, look at me. I'm traveling to places and looking cool yeah, all the time. Out. Oh yeah, and then I'm, <laughs> Katie Boland has uh, told me to up my selfie game. Uh, so then, yeah, just going through what is your brand on Instagram? Think about it. You'll see, you're actually pretty it's consistent. Much, to bring it back to the question, because yeah. we've gone off on a tangent. Oh, right. um, it really is such a huge part of our jobs now to think about how you're kind of putting yourself out there and how you want to be received by your fan base. Really, I think for us, like we hope to just be, give as much of ourselves as we can while, you know, hopefully still appearing grounded as I think we all are yeah. and just kind of having fun lives and promoting our stuff like Long Story Short. <laughs> right. Well, thank you so much. Congratulations and best of luck with Long Story Short and all of your other projects as well. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much. So much. Bye. I'm Katie Allman reporting for Katie Chats in downtown Toronto. Cool.